Hi there, this is Alvin with kickstartcommerce.com and in today's video, I want to discuss GoDaddy's latest update to the GoDaddy Domain Investor app. And so if you had the previous app, you likely remember it was green with uh, the GoDaddy um, icon or iconography gentleman on it uh, that no longer exists. It is now black and it just says investor under the entitle as well as it has an outline of a blue gavel. So let's go ahead and get into the app. Once into the app, you're actually greeted with a GoDaddy uh, investor or domain investor uh, welcome page, but because I've already been in the app, um, it no longer shows that, but it takes me directly to the dashboard, which, um, you know, as a, I guess in contrast to previous versions, I really like where GoDaddy is taking this dashboard uh, page to where it's a tiled approach um, versus the list approach that they had. And uh, one being that each tile you can actually begin to at least see at a high level. You know, for instance, you can see how many domains I'm watching, how many I've, I'm bidding on or been outbid on, as well as lost, as well as an offer section and one. Um, it's, I, I think this is a great start to where, uh, I believe GoDaddy could actually use this not only for auction purposes, but even just the management of the GoDaddy, um, you know, given GoDaddy account. So, you know, start thinking about how you manage your domain portfolio and just taking simple actions as well as being able to buy domains through the, um, app as well as likely even check out although those things aren't included in this current version so let's take a quick hop into uh watching and you can see here um the watching i'm watching 684 domains i'm not watching all of these domains it's just that i do a uh provide a list via kickstartcommerce.com of daily auctions that are expiring so that's why you see that many domains here uh, likely is the case you probably only see a handful um, if you were the typical domain um, or if you are the typical domain investor. That being said, uh, you can scroll downward um, and look through all of the different domains that are there. You can also click the pills that are there up at the top that are showing currently all as be selected. So if you were to click favorites, it would show you the favorites. If you were to click the ones... Um, you know that that either have a bid or actively bidding on then you could see those as well as offer slash counter offer which i don't necessarily know why that one's there um not unless i mean these aren't uh, i guess i understand why it's likely there in case uh you bid on a um auction that's a non-expired auction so most of the time i'm using this for expired auction so that's why it doesn't necessarily make sense for me um, or to me but i can see why they added it there that being said though um, i'm going to use patiolife.com as the domain but you could click on any other domain that's in your watch list but we click on it and it will show you uh, the status that you have been outbid and if you wanted to um bid you know place a higher bid you could cl click inside that uh the increase your bid text input and increase that necessary you know the the bid necessary there uh so for instance if we just said bid now then it would go out it would bid i'm not going to do that only because i'm in airplane mode right now at the time of this recording um but you can also see your bid history and you can see you know uh, the number of bids where you bid is in conjunction to the other bidders. You can also get domain details, how old the domain is, the number of page views, estimated monthly revenue, uh, category, meaning whether it's expired or whether it's just a public auction, and then auction listing views. In addition, um, this has the appraisal. So this it gives you an estimated value for a given domain based on GoDaddy's domain uh, um, appraisal tool. Uh, it doesn't seem to appear to have made it into um, the estimated value doesn't seem to have made it into this version. I mean, it's obviously it has a section for it there, but the value itself for any given domain, I don't know if it uh, if it's actually live. 
Um, I, I've tried looking through a number of these domains that I know have actual values based on looking at the desktop version, but I don't see that um, any other value uh, has been associated via the app. So not only that, in the upper right hand corner, if you click sort by, you can sort by end time, uh, price, high to low, as well as low to high. Also by name, um, whether that be in ascending order or descending order. And then the auction type, which is um, obviously, I uh, believe, expired, and then public auction. So I'm just going to click cancel for now. And outside of that, obviously, you could go to the one, and it would show you the same um, same sort of information or same sort of layout, but it would be for the domains that you won. If you're outbid in any of the domains, it'll show you which ones you're outbid on. Uh, one, it'll show you all the ones that you're bidding on. And then if you click outbid, it'll show you only the ones that you've been outbid on. And then if you want to see which ones you are actually the highest bidder on, then you can actually uh, see that as well. So that being said, uh, let's see here. Let's go back. Um, I really like uh where GoDaddy is taking this tool, like I said, once again, I could see a number of things coming to play if they had a tile there uh, that was specifically for your domain portfolio. Um, so you could see, uh, you know, how many domains you actually own. Um, if you could take simple actions on domains, uh, it'd be great to get some reporting tools in, in as well in terms of uh, you know, what is the TLD breakdown of your domain portfolio or how many domains are um, expiring over a next, you know, 30 day, 90 day interval. Um, in addition, I'd love to see some checkout uh, options added to this uh, because obviously you can see which domains you won, but then it'd be great if from the app you could actually just check out, I almost have a one button um, confirmation type of uh, situation where you could go in, um, already have your payment whatever payment methods are associated to your GoDaddy account, have those methods appear here within the app and then basically be one button, one button payment uh, from the app. Uh, I know I certainly would use the app probably more than more so than I would use the uh, desktop. Another, uh, some other thoughts about this is being able to search actual um, domain auctions because right now you have to, go into the desktop, uh, select or star the ones that you want to watch for them to appear in the app. And it'd be great if you could actually search from the app uh, and then add it to your, your watch list as well as your, your, you know, your bid list. Um, another option also is being able to, um, so obviously we said search for aftermarket auctions, but also just being able to search for domain names, period, and purchase those um, if they're available or if they're registered, being able to make some sort of bid or offer on that domain. Um, and so, you know, these are just a, a, a few thoughts around where I think GoDaddy could actually take this, um, you know, take this tool. So that being said, I'm not going to go to the settings area only because it would reveal certain things about the account um, that are sensitive. And so uh, if you go into the settings area, though, it'll give you the opportunity to be notified um, about uh, different, I guess, different attributes of an auction. Uh, so, you know, if you receive some sort of offer, you know, hey, notify me via the app or notify me if I'm outbid. Uh, so you can go in and enable those or disable those as you see fit. All in all, like I said, I think uh, it is a great start um, for GoDaddy in terms of rewriting this entire application. And we'll look to see where, uh, you know, where things head in the future. So uh, thanks for your time. I hope you found this video to be informative um, in this version of GoDaddy's domain investor um, application. And so please leave me comments or questions um, if something doesn't make sense uh, or if you have additional insight on GoDaddy's domain investor app. Also, please feel free to subscribe to the Kickstart Commerce YouTube channel. I drop a video each week, sometimes talking about the